can wash us whiter than snow. Amen. So, Reverend Chisholm. Amen. So, I think you stand quiet as so, so beautifully this morning. All of my father's children here in the Morning Star family and on the web. And say that because my mama be watching and she's like, you didn't say anything, you didn't say anything about the web family, you just don't care about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're so glad to have you all here today. Good to see you. Hey, Amen. We see you at Santa Claus. It's good to you. Amen. But the Lord was better. Amen. 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 We're so glad to have all of our friends with us here this morning. Amen. You see, one of my friends there, I seen at Walmart the other night. Yeah, he told me, he said, you're a preacher. I said, yeah, I sure am. And we got to talking, and he said, I'm going to come see you. I said, okay, I'll be looking for you. He's a man of his word. He's here today. Amen. 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 Let's give God a hand clap of praise. I'm not going to hold you long here today. today. Amen. Turn with us to Hebrew chapter 6. And you'll we'll read verse 19 and 20. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 19 and 20. We'll be coming from the New King James Version of God's Holy Writing. If you have another translation, that's quite all right. We're going to wind up on the same road because it is the word of God. I said, you may be seated. Amen. We're looking over here in this corner, man, and my sweet tea got a little case of flavor with her this morning. <laughs> Ooh, just as, as, as the old, old uh, country comic, Jerry Clower, in his famous word, I'll say, oh! <laughs> Amen. Lord knows that I want you to go there. Amen. Secondly, 
The author is concerned about the situation of impossibility. Well, Now in the first century, yeah, the pagans would uh, uh, investigate Christianity. Mm -hmm. And then once they got into it, they would turn and go back to paganism. Well, yeah, 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 we could say that they made a clean break from the church. Yeah, but the Jewish Christians, yeah, who decided to return back to Judaism, well, yes, they did not make a clean break, but the break seemed less obvious. Yeah, their lifestyle remained almost unchanged. Yes, but uh, by deliberately turning away from Christ, they were cutting themselves off from God's forgiveness. Right. Yeah, yeah, there's something wrong with a person if, when they can taste uh, the goodness of God well. and turn away from Him. There's something wrong when God keeps on making a way out of no way for you. And you still turn away from him. There's something wrong with you when you have looked at how God has blessed you all the way through 2013. And you chalk it up to look. I've seen people that, that come out of horrific car accidents. Where you look at that car and you say there is no possible way Amen. that a person has gotten out of this vehicle and they're standing right beside you saying, it was me, but I was lucky. <laughs> Man, I got a problem with that. <laughs> when God has had his hand upon you and you know that it couldn't have been nobody but you want to say it was some kind of other mishap. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 there are some people now that really do that. But I don't want nobody in here today to be able to chalk things up for luck. That God will bless you. Amen. Amen. Tragedy had not hit everybody. Amen. There have been some blessings Amen. that has came your way and you just said it was just good. Well, well. Yeah, we turn around and we, and you know how we ask people, hey, we will go to people and, and, and especially us, shopping folk. Yeah. We turn around and say, how are you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored. <laughs> but what about goodness and mercy? What about his love? Don't leave the whole package out. Don't just take two presents. Take the whole kit and kaboom. God is an awesome God. And I'm so glad that he does it in spite of what we go through. In spite of what we do wrong. In spite of when he tells us to go right and we go left, he still keeps on blessing. Say that. Say that. Third. The author has a circumstance of illustration. Now, a land that produces a good crop receives loving care. But a land that produces thistles and thorns, yes, the, they, they have to be, that ground has to be burned. So that the farmer can start all over. All right. Yeah, I used to love doing a little farming. Right. Hey, Amen. I think I like the reaping better than I did the planting. Because <laughs> you have to break up that saw, that hard saw, and then down there put some fertilizer down. And, yeah. and, and we had we used to go out there and cut a, 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 a limb and, and poke a hole in the ground. Yeah, drop that seed into that ground and cover it back up. And even when it did rain, we watered it. All right. Well, all right. But then after a while, 
that plant came up. But then there were some times when that grass was too hot. Them briars would grow up. Thorns and thistles would, would be in that ground and I see them, they would burn the land. I tried to figure out why they were doing that, but they had to start all over all right. to get the nourishment back into the ground. Yes, yes. as unproductive Christians, even in an unproductive Christian life, all right. we fall under God's condemnation. But we aren't uh, saved by our deeds well. or our conduct. Yeah, but we are. Uh, uh, do things because of the evidence of our faith. Yeah, faith without works is dead. Work without faith is dead. Yeah, if you leave one off, everything is just dead. Yeah, but I'm so glad in the day that we have to work this soul salvation. Yeah, salvation is free. But you are working with hell. Amen. Amen. Hey, man, what you mean, brother? I gotta love ye one another. Right. Just as Christ loved me. Right. I've never seen you in all of my days, and it ain't been too long, been 40, 41 years. Amen. But in all my days, well, I've never seen where family can't stand family. <laughs> Let me tell you something here this morning. 
one, you better get it right. Yeah. I ain't never seen nobody hook up a U-Haul to that hearse right. and take it with them. Naked you came into the world, and naked you shall eat. Somebody else gonna borrow that suit you got on. Somebody else gonna wear that weave you got on your head. Yeah. Somebody gonna use what you got. You ain't taking it with you. We're gonna have to get off of that. Well, because we get people to know who we serve. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, if I got my, my, my nose in there, like Brother Lindsay's always saying, you flip it up low enough, you'll try. <laughs> Keep on acting like you better than somebody else. There's somebody gonna come along and give you the word. And when they give you the word, don't you get mad. Just straighten up. I'm so glad here today that God looks beyond our faults. And because he looked beyond our faults, why can't we? If God looked beyond and he know we wrestles, why can't we overlook and let love Smooth it out. Say that. I know we're about to go into a new year. A lot of folks use those new years visualize. <laughs> so I'm gonna be a better Christian. I'm gonna save more money. I'm gonna lose weight. I'm gonna do this, that, and the other. And you broke it before you made it. <laughs> But let us, let love smooth it out. In our family, on our jobs, in our home, throughout our community, especially in our churches. We need to let love smooth it out. Do you not know that a just dish I'm talking about this year, I've been around with y'all all year. Like having a food by there. Yeah. You don't hit this year. There are some folks that you still sit here, All right. but are not here anymore. Yeah. And it bothers me because they're not sitting here. I'm like, I told you, I'm gonna find out where they live, right. and I'm gonna find out what's going on. Uh -huh. And somewhere down the line, we got to pull together and say and let love abide. Amen. Yeah, turn around and, and spread love, show some love. Even if you call the situation, show some love. Yes. See, you folks there that join the choir. And now they sit down in the pews. Right. Find out about that too. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm here for. I'm here, I'm here to make you feel happy. Well, but I'm here to rebuke too. Right. Amen. I'm here to mend some broken fences. Yes. To straighten out some crooked roads. Yeah. yeah, I'm here that love may abide because I'm following Christ. I want you following me. Yeah. And that the author has some confidence. Uh -huh. Yes, hope keeps the Christian from becoming lazy or feeling bored. Yeah, like an athlete that, that is training hard and runs away. He remembers the rewards that lie ahead of him. Yes, and because God is unchangeable and cannot lie, yeah, he holds, uh, we can hold on to his promises with confidence. Yeah, I'm glad that this confidence is like a strong and trustworthy anchor for the soul and it is secure and fixed. Yeah, not only does this confidence in God's promise uh, hold us secure, but it leads us through the curtains of heaven into the inner sanctum of his sanctuary. Yeah, yeah, but I'm so glad that we ain't got to go through the curtain no more. Because Jesus has already gone there for us. Yeah, he opened the way unto the presence of God by the death upon the cross. Yeah, and because of his death, it tore the curtain in two. Allowing us to go directly to the Father without hesitation. Yeah, yeah, in this way, Christ is our high priest. Yeah, and he works differently from other 
priest used to take the offering and petition to the throne of God for us. But before he could take our offering, he had to be right himself. Yes, but now through Christ, we can approach the throne with confidence. Because our high priest was without spot or weak. Yes, sir. Now that we are able to walk with him, talk with him, and we can claim him as our own. Yes, the joy that we share as we tear in there, love that has never been known. Yes, this writer described Jesus as our eternal high priest. Yeah, they come through the line of Melchizedek. Yeah, Jesus activates the promise. Yeah, it eliminates the sin. Yes, that reluctantly caused the promise to be effective. Yes, God promised. And Jesus intercession. Yes, uh, incorporated us into the family. Amen. What I mean by incorporated that we have been adopted right. into our family of God. Right. Yes, if you've been born by the blood of the Lamb. Yes. If you've been washed uh, in the blood of Jesus. Yes. yes, you have been adopted into his family. Yes, yes in times like these, we need a Savior. In times like these, we need an anchor. Be sure that your anchor holds and grips that solid rock. That rock is Jesus. Yes, he's the one. Jesus, the only one. You better be sure. I know I'm sure. Are you sure that your anchor will hold and grip that solid rock. Because yes. one day Jesus, Jesus is on his way back. Yes. And he's looking after a church without spot or yes. He's looking for a bride that is ready to meet him when he comes. Yes. It reminds me of a story of a young boy and his pet yes. Every day they would go down from the stall to the ocean. And you can set your clock by the timing of these two. But one day, as they begin to play upon the ocean, yeah. yes, the elephant begins to turn the little boy's rope. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir, the little boy wanted to play in the ocean, but the elephant kept on turning, yeah. trying to make it to the mountain. Yeah. And so the little boy jumped on the elephant. And the elephant ran through the woods to the mountain. Right. Yeah, after a while, the water receded. And a few minutes later, the tsunami came. 
say from that rock. But you know what? That rock is a ground that won't give away when all other ground is sinking sand. The rock is still standing. And I'm going to be just like that lifeguard. I'm reaching out, trying to grab someone's hand so that they can meet this Jesus for themselves. I don't you come? You do it through baptism, Christian experience. Oh, there are some 
in here that, that need more strength in their life. Yes. Lord, they come for one thing and for another, but Lord, whatever they are asking for, yes. Lord, you have already provided. Yes. And Lord, all we have to do is have the faith, the size of a mustard seed. Yes. And you said if we have that faith, that we can move our spiritual mountains out of the way. And Lord, I know that you are showing up a man of your word. Yeah. And Lord, right now in this, in these final days of 2013, Lord, we praise you and we thank you for these days. And Lord, we know that the next seven is a promise, but Lord, we thank you right now. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, thank you for your spirit. Yes, sir. Thank you. thank you for your protection. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your hands of mercy. Yes, Lord. Thank you for picking us up when we were there. Thank you for being there when we were there. Thank you for when brother and sister were there. Thank you for when best friend was there. Thank you for being there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for more stuff. Thank you, Lord. And it's more than them. Yes, yes, Lord, I ask you to allow us to get closer. Yes, Lord. And if one can't fall without the other. Lord, I thank you, Father, that you're going to bring us a close that the love that will flow from heart to heart and breath to breath. Lord, I, I thank you right now that we will be able to shine a light in the community. And Lord, they'll see you and others. Yes, yes. That's it, Lord. Lord, thank you. That the preachers will come together. Yes, Lord, thank, thank you. Yes, that the brothers and sisters will come together. Yes, Lord. Thank you. That morning star thank will not be just a church. We will be a family. Yes, Lord, thank we hope that all of God's children get together for yes. the time we were having. Yes. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. But Lord, there might be some part in this in this family that don't know you in the part of their sin. Lord, I ask you to give them some time. That they'll be able to see your loving face. Fall in your arms. And receive salvation for their sins. Maybe there's someone in here that has fallen short in their, in their faith with you. Lord, we ask you to give them a, a special pouring out. Lord, that you will fill them with your spirit again. Yes. And they're able to feel the presence of the house of God. Yes. And Lord, when we get ready to reach the doorsteps of 2013, trying to go into 2014, Lord, let us be better. Let us do more. Let us lift up your name. Yes. Better than we did before. Yes. And Lord, if we have not been doing our job, please forgive us. But Lord, let us start on our fresh. Lord, and I thank God that you don't hold my past against us. But Lord, you allow us to move forward and keep telling and lifting up the name of Jesus. Because your name, every knee is going to bow. Because of your name, every tongue is going to be And the name of and your name, every soul will be healed. At your name, oh, they'll be healed by your stripes. Yeah. There, there'll be no more sickness. Yeah. No more death. Yeah. Well, when you come back and be high and high, yeah. that'll get back. Yeah. We'll all be able to sing that sign song of how we made it over. Yeah. Wasn't nothing that we did. That's right. But it was about you. Yeah. No matter where we turn, it was about you. All right. Yes, let us keep on remembering it's about you. Yes. We ain't got to wait till December yes. uh, to say it's the reason for the season. Yes. You are the reason every day. Yes. Yes. And so we lift up our holy hands. Yes. We lift up our voice. Yes. And Lord, maybe that's something that didn't come down to the yes. I know that you can reach them right where they are. Yes. And Lord, you can, you can bless them right where they are. Yes. Let us go out and reach out into community where those who have fallen them on the wrong way bring them back into the boat. Yes. Lord, let us show that love that they will be able to, we will follow each other all and say, forgive each other. Amen. I might have started it, I might not have started it, but Lord, I thank you for you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you right now, God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. For what you're about to do. 
I thank you right now for what's about to happen in this place. I thank you right now. And if there's anybody in here that's going to thank God with me for the work that he's about to work. Yeah. <laughs> 